the most important thing that uh, everybody needs to remember is regardless of whatever any specific guideline says or doesn't say, whether it be the AUA guidelines or the National Comprehensive Cancer Network guidelines, the most important thing to remember is that urologists nationwide are united in their defense of a patient's right to access PSA testing if it's clinically appropriate. The facts are absolutely irrefutable. Over the last uh, two decades, since the advent of broad-based cancer screening, the death rate from prostate cancer has decreased by 40, nearly 40 percent. During that same interval, the 10-year survival from prostate cancer has gone from 53 percent to over 97 percent. Simultaneously, the incidence of prostate cancer has remained virtually unchanged. We're not detecting more cancer. We're detecting cancer earlier and we're saving lives. Now, the current guidelines provide a much more nuanced approach than that recommended by the United States Preventative Services Task Force. The USPSTF, which is a government bureaucracy that did not ask the input of a single physician that treats prostate cancer, recommended doing away with PSA screening for all men. That ill-advised one-size-fits-all approach had the risk of setting back the progress of 20 years. The current guidelines recognize that it is a patient's ultimate decision whether or not they should have PSA screening. The patient has a right to go ahead and consult with his physician and his loved ones and decide whether or not PSA screening is right for them. The guidelines also recognize that there is a role for screening in older men. Some men over 70, given the increased longevity that people are experiencing, particularly those with a lifespan of over 10 to 15 years, are appropriately screened for prostate cancer. In addition, screening is appropriate for younger men as well, particularly those men at high risk, African American men and those men with a family history of prostate cancer. It's critically important that men understand that the decision to go ahead and be tested for prostate cancer is a personal one that should be made in consultation with a physician, taking into consideration a man's own risk factors and their overall health and wellness. The urological community should, uh, should and will continue to vigorously defend the rights of a man to access potentially life-saving uh, diagnostic testing.